Okay, the energy of a photon from an electromagnetic wave is 2.25 electron volt. Uh, a, calculate its wavelength. Okay, so we have energy of photon here. Okay, this is the energy of photon. Um, okay, and which is this? This will be equal to equal to hf or hc over lambda. Okay, that that we know for sure. But the unit is in electron volt. Make sure you need to convert to joule first. Yeah, electron volt convert to joule. You need to uh, multiply by uh, electron uh, multiply. So you have to first convert the, the unit to joule first before you can substitute into this e equal to hf formula. It calculates the wavelength. Yeah, so he need to find the wavelength. So um, ah, he just use the formula e equal to hc over lambda. So convert to joule. Okay, convert to joule. Uh, to convert to joule, uh, we have to uh, multiply by elect uh, by multiply by electron charge. So um, okay, let us do it. So uh, E equal to uh, two point two five electron volt uh, is equal to two point two five times electrons. Uh, then uh, this will be get we will get joule. So uh, to, uh, electron charge is one point six exponent negative nineteen. Uh, the answer will be this energy will be um, um, yeah 1.6 exponent negative 19 after we multiply we will get this one 3.6 exponent 3.6 exponent negative 19 okay uh, so make sure you convert to joule first okay uh, after you already convert to joule then only you can substitute into this formula yeah hc over lambda <laughs> So now only we can use the formula hc over lambda. Okay, hc over lambda. So our h is um okay our e is uh, just now we calculated three point six exponent negative nineteen. Okay, in SI unit joule. Uh, so our h is uh let's look at the h yeah let's look at our h. Our h is uh, six point six three. Uh, exponent negative 34 and speed of light is 3 exponent 8 and then the wavelength is uh, ah we, we want to find a wavelength isn't it uh, so we can find a wavelength from here so our wavelength uh, will get our wavelength is uh, uh, this answer okay uh, 5.53 5.53 exponent uh, negative 7 meter uh, if you convert to nanometer uh, this one become exponent negative 9 eh, sorry nanometer so this one become 553 but exponent negative 9 uh, exponent negative 9 meter uh, is a uh, nano okay it is nanometer so you can leave your answer either in um, in SI unit meter or nanometer. Alright, so both will be accepted. Okay, uh, so, um, okay, that's correct. Now let's move on to the next question. If the uh, electromagnetic wave shines on a metal, photoelectrons are emitted with a maximum kinetic energy of 1.10 electron volt. Calculate the work function of this metal in joules. Okay. So he want the work function of the metal in joules. The unit make sure must be in joule, not electron volt. So okay, uh, this is the K max. Yeah, uh, this one is the K max because it say maximum kinetic energy K max. Uh, but the the unit is in electron volt. So you must make pay attention to especially this unit of energy is either electron volt or joule. Okay, so um, how to find? So first of all, uh, to find the k max, to find the work function, k max and work function, they are all in the formula of the uh, photoelectric effect uh, equation, uh, Einstein photoelectric equation, which is uh, E equal to k max plus work function. Okay, energy of incident photon equal to kinetic energy or maximum kinetic energy of the ejected electron plus the work function of the metal surface. Okay. And we are given the maximum kinetic energy is 1.10 electron volt. Okay, we want the work function in joule. So we want this work function in joule. That means 
uh, if you want to find the work function in Joule, make sure all the other also follow Joule. Ah, the equation all must have the same unit. Same unit only only you can add up together. If different unit, uh, if you have a unit like uh, Joule equal to electron volt plus Joule, cannot. Yeah, uh, which is wrong. Uh, so you must maintain all same unit. Yeah, maintain all same unit. So we want the work function in Joule. That means our kinetic energy cannot be in electron volt. We must convert to Joule. Uh, this one, electron volt, kinetic energy must convert to Joule. How to convert from electron volt to Joule? Remember again, uh, again, I need to emphasize again, from electron volt, convert to Joule, uh, we multiply electron. Okay, multiply electron. Uh, from Joule, go back to electron volt, we divide by electron charge. Understand? Okay, so uh, to find the kinetic energy in Joule, okay, first of all, we need to find the kinetic energy in Joule. So kinetic energy in Joule, huh, we have uh, in electron volt. So to, co to convert to Joule, we multiply by electron charge. Electron charge is 1.6 exponent negative 19. Uh, then you get the unit in Joule. So uh, this kinetic energy is um, equal to um, this kinetic energy. Do we have the kinetic energy? Okay, I, I don't have a value for this kinetic energy. Uh, but I certainly can calculate for you. Okay, 1.1 uh, times uh, 1.6 exponent negative 19. Okay, so uh, okay, it is uh, 1.76 exponent negative 19 joule okay that's the kinetic energy in joule now you can safely substitute into this formula yeah because the work we want to find the work function in joule okay now um so how about the energy energy do we have in joule yes energy also we cannot use cannot use the uh the energy of photon we cannot use 2.25 electron volt we must use uh, the energy of photon in joule uh, we already have the energy of photon in Joule. Yeah? Just now we convert already. Multiply by electron charge. So uh, it's 3.6 exponent negative 19. So we have everything we need. Okay, we have everything we need. So now uh, go back to this formula. E equal to uh, K max uh, plus work function. We already have everything we need. So our energy of photon is uh, 3.6 exponent uh, negative 19 Joule. And then our Kmax, uh, just now our Kmax in Joule is uh, 1.76 exponent negative 19 Joule. Uh, our work function, we will get answer in Joule. Uh, so, uh, our work function, will, the answer is equal to, the answer is uh, our work function. That means this uh, Kmax go to the other side and minus. Uh, go to the other side and minus and we get a work function in 1.84 1.84 exponent uh, negative 19 joule ah so that's the answer in joule okay that's the answer in joule understand ah uh, that's the answer in joule okay so this is one way of doing yeah we can make all everything into joule first before we substitute or we can also use the uh, all in electron volt yeah that means uh, the formula we also this formula also we can make it uh, the other way that means it is e equal to k max uh, plus uh, work function or we substitute in electron volt uh, or we substitute the unit in electron volt uh, can also first yeah then only we convert the work function from electron volt to joule uh, for example uh, we have the e in electron volt which is uh, 2.25 uh, 2.25, uh, 2.25 less, uh, yeah, 2.25 electron volt, yeah, in the question, 2.25 electron volt, okay, and we can also make it 2.2, I'm uh, sorry, what is it, yeah, uh, yeah, 2 point, we can make it uh, 2.25 electron volt equal to, make sure everything must have same unit, as long as they have same unit, okay. Okay, max is uh, just now is a uh, 1.10 electron volt. Okay, just put a uh, 1.10 electron volt uh, plus the work function. So we got our work function in electron volt, which is uh, minus out. We get uh, 1.15 electron volt. Ah, uh, so now you want to convert this one to joule. 
we want to find the the work function in joule work function in joule so then we convert from here electron volt go to joule uh, from electron volt i want to convert to joule so how i multiply by electron charge i, I by multiply by electron so uh, that means this uh, work function 1.15 i multiply uh, electron charge is 1.6 exponent negative 19 ah so what do i get after i multiply by the electron charge 1.15 uh, uh, multiply by 1.6 exponent negative 19 uh, the answer is 1.84 uh, exponent negative 19 joule ah so you see it's the same answer as before uh, it's the same answer as before uh, 1.84 exponent negative 19 uh, the unit in joule so it's the same answer 1.84 negative 19 1.84 negative 19 uh, uh, make, make, just make sure you either use all joule or you use all electron volt don't just don't mix up like this uh, just don't mix up like this joule electron volt joule yeah just make sure you use all joule or all electron volt and how to convert from electron volt to joule is multiply by electron okay so that's all for this video okay thank you for watching and let's move on to the next one